All right, guys. This week we're going to show you how to uh, soak some lickable, the licking stick stamps. I'm going to put my gloves on this week. I forgot to do it last on the other video when I'd done just the self adhesive. But, uh, we got several stamps here that's uh, needing some soaking. We got this one here. Now this one here has what they call a hinge on the back. And uh, if you don't get them off, it'll damage the stamp. It'll discolor it. In fact, it looks like it's done a little bit of discoloring. I've got one. Let me show you this one here. So this one here. This is the reverse side. You can see where the hinge was. So if you flip it over to the face side. You see this dark spot right here? It's supposed to be the color down below the lettering of the stamp. So, that's what will happen if you leave your uh, hinges on there. We'll go ahead and throw it in. And, uh, we're just using plain water. Um, I try to don't want to cooperate. Put it face down. Uh, this one here is uh, a national park stamp, and it's on paper. So we want to try to get it off the paper. I don't think this is a self-adhesive stamp, but we'll find out. Face down. Here we have a beautiful stamp. It's got the hinge on it. We'll put it in in the water. Now here's a problem that if you collect stamps, uh, I'm holding this by the paper, so I won't use my tongs. But you can see we've got several stamps stuck together. And we want to try to separate these as careful as we can. And uh, we'll get those in, in there. Now some of these won't take just a few seconds. And I'm going to hold this one by the paper too. So. Turn them face down. Then I got a, another stamp that's got the hinge on it. So let's get these going, get them soaking. Some will take a little longer, depending on the thickness of the paper. And we're going to wait just a few minutes. I'm going to throw this one in that's got the discoloration. I don't think it's going to help it any. We'll throw it in there too. This is a lot easier process than 
the self-adhesive stamps. Uh, so, like I said, it's going to take a few minutes. For them to do their thing. Check on. I think this one is ready, guys. At least one of them is. I'm going to move this container over so you don't see this. It's not quite ready. We'll add it back to the water. I mean, back in the day, these little hinges were a great idea. Uh, not quite. I don't know if you can see this, but this right here, that's the gum, the glue, it's come off already. Oh, there we go, there we go, we got one saved here, we'll put it, that has a corner that's been damaged but you can get it straightened out flip that thing over we try, we'll dry them off just a little bit And we're going to do these the same way as we've done those others that we wet. And uh, we're going to get them ready. Get us a good clean paper towel. Put that on there. This paper towel, and once I get the stamps on it, this paper towel will go under the books for the weight. Sorry about the racket, this one might flat. Not that. All right. Here is that discolored stamp. Some of the gum is coming off. Take her paper towel. Pat it a little bit. Try to dry it off. But as you can see, the discoloration is still on there. I'm going to wave that one there. All right. And we got another loose stamp here that was a 
this one was also attached to that cluster. And guys, I'm just I'm just learning. Get that one back in there. Just learning how to do all this, so this is all new to me too. All right, we have a beautiful Canadian postage stamp. Let's set that one right there. Uh, here's one that's got a hinge and one of the hinges on it I'm going to grab a different set of tongs here let's see if I can work up on it I do not believe this is a hinge. I believe this is a piece of tape. So we're going to let that one soak a little bit. We may have to leave that piece of tape on there. Okay, here's one that was in the cluster. Sometimes it's hard to look at that it's sliding right off, guys. Put it face down. Oops. Come off the. Pat it dry. all gum and I see some more gum on it so I'm going to throw this one back in here's an, another one that come off the cluster And all I'm doing, guys, is putting them in just regular water, tap water, nothing to it. There we go. Stamp off the paper. Set it right there. And you won't try to make, make them as flat as possible. Sometimes you get these older stamps are, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, this National Park stamp, watch, can y'all see that, just like that, discard your paper, lay it flat, National Park. Oh. 
National Park Centennial. City of Refuge, Hawaii. This is an airmail stamp. Let me get that where you can see that. Beautiful stamp. Beautiful. I like that one. All right. Let's see this big one here. See there. All steps come off of it. All right. Peace and War postage stamp, U.S. Merchant Marine. I might have to re-rig my pressing paper towels. Well. Figure this out here in a minute. Uh, looks like we got us a George Washington U.S. postage one cent stamp. Take it and just fix it. Roll that paper towel down. There we go. come loose from that paper looks like a U.S. Navy stamp. Yeah, <clears throat> three. It's a three cent stamp. It's hard to. Got the sailors on there. It's a nice stamp. Put that one right there. All right, let's work on guys. I do believe this is tape. I would not advise using tape. Some tapes have acid on them. But it rolled off pretty good. So. There we go. Now I might be mistaken. I don't know of any hinges like that. But what a hinge. The hinges they use for your stamp albums you'll take it and fold it in half then you'll lick one or moisten one side or lick it whatever you'll put it on your book and then when it dries moisten this side put your stamp on it make sure it lays flat and uh A lot, a lot of your, like you, I know your beginner albums will have a picture of the stamp. Then you can flip it up and see what, you know, your album has on it. But I believe this is a piece of tape. 
In fact, I do see right there it is. I just rolled a piece of tape up. But you seen it come off real easy. All right, let's get this other one out. This is the one. Let's, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's, I always like to just let the paper towel fall down past my fingers so I can get a good bite on the Another stamp for the collection, and I am going to have to. All right, let's see if we can get this one. To do the same thing. It's, it is also a piece of tape, I believe. Let's take it and. Just, if you feel any resistance, stop, put it back in the water. simple that simple This one. I believe that is the King and Queen of England. There we go. Just peeled right off. This one's got some discoloration. I am going to take a Q-tip and see. Not rubbing hard. See if I can get this glue off. Or gum, as they call it. Okay, it is not coming off. So... Now on these I will not use, well, it is coming off a little bit. Maybe I'll put it back in the water. Let it soak some more. But these I will not use uh, this eraser on these because these are very fragile. Your uh, self adhesive stamps, they're more like a sticker, they've got a little resist uh, durability about them, so you can get a little rougher with those, but still got to be careful. All right, like I said, I'm gonna have to oops, rearrange this. They turn them face down. Always try to, because they always want to curl on the face side, like that one did. So, 
lay them face down. And then that way, when you fold your paper towel over, less likely to crease an edge. Get these. And so you gotta pay really particular attention. This corner right here is creased. It was damaged while it was being stored or so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it on that corner and pull it and then set it down. Alright. See if I can work on this a little more. Yes. Hope you can see that. That gum is coming right off. Just like I said, from the middle out. That way you don't hurt the perforations on the on your edge. So just rolling off. Take it and swish it in the water. Move it this way. It's coming off a little bit. But then you gotta also understand when to quit. I think I'm going to quit right there, guys. Because I do not want to damage the stamp. I mean, it's already damaged with the tape being on it. But yep, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna take my tongs, get up under it. go as you can see they still some gum on it but we'll get this set of stamps laid out the way we want it 
I do not like overlapping any. See this stamp right here is got some bad discoloration on it on the back side. Make sure my corners are good. Alright. Fold this over. Everything looks good. Alright, we're going to set it on the book. Guys, the same books I used the last time. And they'll come out looking just like the ones, last ones I've done. The self-adhesive. And when these dry, it usually don't take long for, for them to dry. So... Well, uh, and all you need, you can, you can, I don't know if you can see all that stuff floating in there. That's all you need for your lick and stick stamps so to get them off the paper. You just need water, some tweezers. I use paper towels to dry them off with and press them with. Uh, whether I'm doing this the right way or not, uh, it's pretty much what I've seen on other channels about stamps and the uh, what I call lick and stick stamps are real easy to do. And you just seen me do several, taking tape off, soaking them off the papers, and, uh, but that's it, that's all there is to it, guys. Like I said, using just plain tap water, get you a container, put you some water in, get you some tongs, uh, I like using these, but you see me use these. Sometimes you, it's hard to get up under the stamp. You just want to get the stamp started, even though I did take one that it come off by itself. With these, these are the better stamp, uh, tongs. So, there we go, guys. That's how you, so, what I call lick and stick stamps off of paper. Hope you enjoyed it.